Hi, I'm Jay Sullivan from Mozilla, and I'm here to talk about Firefox OS. Firefox OS is the new free mobile operating system from Mozilla. It's built with web technologies like HTML5 and built on web principles of openness and freedom for all to innovate. So I'm going to give you a little demo of Firefox OS, tell you a little bit about who we're working with and how we're working together. Let's take a look. I'll show you a few devices. Uh, this one's made by TCL Alcatel, and here's another one uh, in white. And we've also got um, one here from ZTE. It's a blue device. Um, so, you know, you'll see we're going to show the, the Firefox uh, brand and, and colors. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, to, to interact with this hardware. Um, so let's do a demo. I've also got another phone here um, made by a company called uh, Geeks Phone in Spain. Uh, they built some of the developer phones that developers have been using. Okay, so what you're going to see is um, everything a user would expect in a great smartphone experience. I'm going to show you how developers can use HTML5 to build amazing things. And also uh, show you something new that really breaks down the barrier between the web and apps to give uh, users a great, uh, a great new experience. Um, so this is the uh, TCL Alcatel uh, phone running Firefox OS. Um, so I'm going to unlock the phone. And what you'll see immediately is, you know, you've got your, te your, your telephone, you've got your SMS, you can get on the web with Firefox, and we have Facebook uh, bundled with the device. Um, I can swipe over, and you'll see uh, a bunch of my commonly used applications. Some of these are pre-installed, and some of these um, I downloaded from the Firefox Marketplace. So let's take a look at some of the, some of the basics. I've got the Firefox Marketplace. We have email and calendar, of course. Um, let's pull up the contacts. So what you'll see is that um, we've embedded social deeply into this device because as people get online, sure, they want to call and send text messages, but they're also um, deeply involved with Facebook and Twitter and other social applications. So what you'll see is, um, you know, I've been able to import my Facebook contact, so that's associated with a picture with every contact. And in addition to, you know, uh, simply making a phone call, which I can do, I can also go ahead and, and post on someone's wall or, or send them a Facebook message. So now I'm in airplane mode. I'm going to unlock the phone. And, you know, a lot of things I want to do when I'm on the go, whether it's, you know, getting to my music or, um, you know, then browse through my albums there or looking at my, my family photos, I can do those things. Um, even though I am uh, disconnected, so that's really important. So what I'm going to show you is something we're building that really breaks down the walls between the web and apps. The web is great because it gives you instant access to all the information out there, and apps are great because they have a beautiful, easy-to-use form factor. So we looked at what, what can you do if you combine what's great about those two things. I'm going to swipe to the left here, and I'm going to do a search. I'm going to search for the movie Skyfall. And what you'll see is my phone immediately transforms itself. Now it's all about movies. It's really dynamic. So I get access to, you know, movie review websites. I can buy tickets with Fandango. I can read about it on Wikipedia, IMDb. What's interesting here is I may never have seen those applications before. They're shown to me in real time based on what I care about. So this is a really new way of thinking about how the web meets apps to give you something new and amazing. We think users are going to love this because it's instant gratification based on what you want when you want it. However, we do have a standard marketplace that users are going to expect and that, that's going to give developers a place to submit their apps to get discovery ratings and reviews, etc. And I'll show you that on the ZTE phone. Let's pull up the, uh, the Firefox Marketplace. And Firefox Marketplace has everything a user expects um, in terms of categories, ratings, reviews, discovery. But what's important about our model is that you don't have to use the Firefox Marketplace. We expect there to be multiple marketplaces, and in the spirit of complete openness, any developer can distribute an app directly to users without using a marketplace at all. And we think that's a very important web principle that's going to make uh, innovation happen all over the place. So that's Firefox Marketplace. So thanks for watching. I think it's a really big day for Firefox OS. We introduce a whole set of network operator partners, OEMs, chipset vendors, and app developers. And there's a lot more to come. So keep your eye on Firefox OS. It's going to be amazing.